Hi, this is Travis Shaw with the Virginia Piedmont Heritage Area, and today I'm standing at a country crossroads known as Five Points. This is an intersection that lies about halfway between the village of Atoka and the village of Rectortown, right in the heart of what in 1864 would have been known as Mosby's Confederacy. Uh, by January of 1864, Mosby and his rangers have been operating for about six months in this area, uh, waging a guerrilla war against Union forces throughout northern Virginia. Uh, this area along the border of Loudoun County and Fauquier County is really at the heart of his base of operations. And so this area is going to become the focus of a number of Union raids, um, columns that are sent into Mosby's Confederacy to try and put an end to Mosby and his command. Uh, one of the units that is going to play an important role in this guerrilla war in Northern Virginia is Cole's Battalion of Maryland Cavalry. Uh, these are cavalrymen raised from Western Maryland, Southern Pennsylvania, and from Virginia Unionists including many men from this very area. And unlike many of their Union Army counterparts, Cole and his men are kind of born in the saddle just like Mosby's Rangers are. These are farm boys, uh, rural guys who are used to shooting, used to riding. Um, so they are going to be very, very active in the guerrilla war here in Northern Virginia. Now to set the scene of what happens here, on January 1st, 1864, a column of Cole's men, about 60 or 70 men, uh, are going to set out from Harper's Ferry on December 30th of 1863, two days before New Year's. And their goal is to come into Mosby's Confederacy, specifically to strike at the village of Rectortown, and to hopefully catch some of Mosby's Rangers as they're maybe sleeping off their New Year's hangovers. So this column is going to be uh, commanded by Captain Albert Hunter. Uh, Hunter and his men are going to leave Harper's Ferry and take a very roundabout route um, through Lovettsville and down towards Rectortown, their ultimate goal. Uh, through New Year's Eve, December 31st, they're going to run into increasingly bad weather. Pouring rain is going to change to sleet and snow as the temperature drops. Um, this is going to not only soak the men to the bone, but it is going to soak their ammunition as well, something that is going to play a crucial role in the fight that happens here at Five Points. So early on New Year's Day, uh, Hunter and his men are going to head through Upperville. They are going to catch a few of the rangers off guard in Upperville, capture a few prisoners there, get into a very small skirmish, and then they are going to continue on to their ultimate objective. What they don't know is that Mosby has actually planned a rendezvous at Rectortown for New Year's Day. So here we have Hunter and the men of Cole's Cavalry moving towards Rectortown. And we also have Mosby's men gathering as well. And Hunter and the Union Cavalry are going to see Mosby's Rangers on the hills outside of town, kind of shadowing them as they advance southward. Now Hunter is used to this kind of warfare and he immediately thinks that he is heading into a trap. So as they ride into Rectortown, he is going to make the decision to head on towards Salem, what is today Marshall, Virginia, to try and throw Mosby's men off his trail. Um, they're gonna head south like they're heading towards Salem and then cut back overland to try and make it back to Upperville and eventually north to Harper's Ferry to hopefully avoid whatever trap is being set. Uh, unfortunately for Hunter and his men, Mosby's Rangers know the area just as well or even better than he does, and so they are going to be the ones that are going to lay the trap. So Hunter and his men are going to cut overland and they're going to try to make their way back here to Five Points, uh, and what they'll find is a force of about 35 of Mosby's Rangers are going to be in hot pursuit. Um, the clash between Mosby's Rangers and uh, Hunter's men is going to happen right here at the intersection of Five Points, um, cleverly named because five roads intersect here behind me. Um, Hunter and his men are able to repulse the first attack. 
but because their ammunition has been soaked, their fire is going to become ineffective and the rangers are eventually going to make a second charge and overwhelm Hunter and his men, scattering them in every direction. Hunter himself will fall in a flash of red. His men assume that he has been shot from the saddle and without any sort of leadership, they are going to, it's going to be every man for himself. And about 30 of Hunter's men, nearly half of his column, are going to be captured by Mosby's rangers. Uh, many of them are going to be captured trying to make their way across the frozen Goose Creek. Um, this is really the worst battlefield defeat for Cole's Maryland Cavalry during their time in the Civil War. Um, it's an embarrassing defeat for Hunter, uh, but it is really just the start of Hunter's problems. Wait for this. Um, Hunter is shot, uh, is thrown from his saddle during the fight, uh, but unlike uh, what his men assume, he is actually not killed. The flash of red that they see is not blood, but is actually the uh, lining of his cape as he falls. So uh, he will eventually come to lying in the fields outside of five points here with several Confederate soldiers standing over him. Uh, when those soldiers run off to go capture the captain's horse, Hunter, being the quick thinking officer he is, uh, hides in the nearby woods, buries himself under the leaves and, and branches, and the Confederates are unable to find him. And this is the start of Captain Hunter's uh, basically odyssey to get back to the safety of Harper's Ferry. He is going to spend the next several days um, traversing over 30 miles of enemy territory in his attempt to, to escape to freedom. And he is going to achieve this with the help of a lot of local Unionists. Um, the, as darkness falls on New Year's Day, he's going to make his way to Goose Creek. Again, the, the river is frozen over. He can't make it across. He will eventually find a local Unionist um, who takes him into his home, feeds him, and then gives him directions on how to cross the creek. Uh, on the north side of the creek, he is going to uh, encounter a secessionist. Uh, who strikes a, a very interesting bargain with him. He agrees to give the Union captain directions on how to get to the Quaker settlement at Goose Creek in exchange for a license to trade goods at uh, Point of Rocks, you know, something that would be incredibly valuable as the families here are hard hit by the uh, Union blockade. So eventually, as sun rises on January 2nd, Hunter is going to see the most welcome sight he can imagine, and that is the uh, Quaker Meeting House at Goose Creek, today's Lincoln, Virginia. He's a familiar face among the Quakers at Lincoln. Um, they, they take him in, they allow him to rest, they feed him, they give him a chance to warm up after this ordeal that he's been through, and then they will take him by wagon to the Quaker settlement at Waterford, where again, Captain Hunter is going to be surrounded by friendly faces. He's taken to the home of the Duttons, a family that you've probably heard of if you've followed along with a lot of our other presentations. Um, Lizzie and Lida Dutton, of course, the authors of the Waterford News. Um, they are going to, again, feed him, take him in, and give him passage to Point of Rocks, where Captain Hunter will find a, a train headed towards Harper's Ferry and eventually will be reunited with the incredulous members of his command who had taken him for dead just a few days before. Uh, now the fight here at, uh, at Five Points is not the end of the conflict between Cole's Maryland Cavalry and Mosby's Rangers. You know, Mosby is pretty elated at the damage he's done to Cole's command here at Five Points, and so he will make plans to finish the job just a few days later by attacking Cole and his men in camp at Loudon Heights near Harper's Ferry on January 10th. Now, this does not go as well for Mosby. If you want to learn more about the engagements at Loudon Heights, um, please go visit the Virginia Piedmont Heritage Area's YouTube page. Last year, last January, Anne Marie and I did a, a wonderful set of videos detailing the, the action that occurred there. Um, but these two groups have not seen the last of each other, and they will continue this very personal guerrilla conflict well into 1864. So with that, thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you again next time.